So iOS 26 beta just came out and you might be looking for a location changer to use in some of the apps on your phone. Well, I'm gonna be showing you the best location changer that you could be using on iOS 26 beta like myself in order to change your location in apps like Snapchat, Find My, Pokemon Go, etc. There's no jailbreak required and this also does work on Android. So if you do use Android, you can use it as well. But if you guys do enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you wanna download the location changer I'm gonna be featuring, there's gonna be a link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment for you guys to check that out. But with all that being being said, let's just get right into the video. All right, so like you guys can see, I'm gonna show you on my phone, it says we're up to date with iOS 26. So you can see that I'm on the iOS 26 beta, but moving on to my computer, you guys can see that I'm on the local change website, which is gonna be the link at the top of the description. If you guys wanna go navigate on over to there to follow along with this video. Now, local change is a GPS location changer and it seamlessly supports iOS 26 as well as Android 15 platforms. So it's super up to date and supports literally anything that you want. Now there's a bunch of different points here where it goes through the main highlights and key features of the actual software itself, but you guys can go through that on your own time. Um, and then if you scroll down, it just shows some of the features, the apps it works with, as well as the different teleportation, jump teleport, joystick, multi-spot mode, all that stuff. It features that on the website. So you guys can go look through that, but once you've actually decided you wanna follow along with this, you're just gonna click on try it free and it's gonna download it to your computer. So I'll see you guys one time inside of LocaChange. All right, so once you open up the app itself, it's gonna look a little something like this. Now it's going to prompt you to get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press get started and I don't actually have my device connected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my phone, which is an iPhone 14, I believe, iPhone 14, and we are going to plug it in using a USB-C cable. If you were on an older device, obviously you're gonna use the lightning cable. We're gonna plug it in directly to a USB port on the front of our computer. Now it's plugged in right now. We can see as soon as it's been connected, it's gonna prompt us right here to connect via USB. Now I'm gonna press okay. It's gonna force us to enter our password. So we're gonna enter that in, and then it's gonna get us to navigate on over to privacy security, enable developer mode, restart our phone, and then we should be good to go. So I'm gonna do all that quickly and I'll see you guys once I'm done that. All right, so our phone is literally just rebooted all we have to do is enable developer mode then we're gonna enter our password and then we will be good to go and we'll see that the software will prompt us enter in our password so we're gonna open our phone again and just like that should be good to go okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on universal mode because I feel like that just works the best. Now, specific game mode works well for Pokemon Go. Again, this software requires no jailbreak and has a great beginner friendly interface. Now we're gonna click on universal mode right here. It's gonna connect the device to our computer with the location changer. We're gonna give it a second here. All right, and just like that, it is connected. That's gonna open us up on a map. I'm currently in Florida from the last time I was using this software. So I'm not actually in Florida, don't worry. So let me just quickly teleport to, I don't even know. We're gonna do New York. So I'm gonna move on over there. And just to show you that this is actively reflecting on my phone, I'm gonna open Find My, I'm gonna zoom out. You guys can see, we got New York right there and my GPS location is currently in New York. I'm also gonna open Snapchat just to show you that it works on Snap Maps as well. Like you guys can see, I'm currently on like Staten, Staten Island area. Um, so that's pretty cool given I'm in my basement. I'm not actually over there. Uh, but yeah, let me quickly show you a couple of the features of the software itself. Now, I'm gonna show this in Pokemon Go once we get to the movement stuff, but if you were to just wanna teleport like I just did, you'd be using the teleport feature. Now you could either click on anywhere in the map or you could search it up. So for example, if I wanted to teleport to let's say Disneyland, I enter that in the bar and it's going to actually, we're gonna type in Disneyland Drive because that is, okay. So California Highway 66, Anaheim, boom. We go right here, zoom in, you guys can see. Boom, this is Disneyland. So remove there, just like that. Our location on Snap Maps is going to teleport us over to, sorry, tap on the screen, Disneyland, right there. You can see I'm in Disneyland on Snap Maps. This also works in my Find My. I'll quickly zoom out. We literally teleported across the country. You can see Disneyland, that simple. Teleport, one click, move, boom, done, easy. Now, there are some other modes. Now, for example, jump teleport mode, we just lay out a bunch of different um, teleportation points. So if we wanted to do like a lap here and have a jump from one to the next, I'm gonna quickly show you and zoom in. I'll show you when I click on a button, it's gonna teleport us, as you guys can see on Find My. Here we go, next point, boom, boom, boom. It's moving our GPS around as we click next point. It's going from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. That is 
jump teleport mode. Now two spot mode is moving from point A to point B. So we have our current location right here in this little roundabout area and we wanna to get to this point. Now, what we can do is we can adjust the speed of which our GPS is gonna move. So we can make it look like we're walking on a bike, on a motorcycle, on, in a car, that sort of thing. Obviously, since we're in Disneyland, we are gonna want it to look a little realistic. So we're gonna click on walking speed. And if you guys see, we are actively moving. Now, if you look at Find My, you'll see we're actively moving in this as well. So it's great that it's able to do this. Now we have realistic mode enabled, which allows us to like actively, realistically walk between places kind of thing. Um, and that makes the route look a lot more realistic, like I said. Now you can drag up the speed if you want, like mid thing, and all of a sudden we've like teleported all the way. Um, so that is that. All right, so the multi-spot mode is gonna be perfect for a game like Pokemon Go. Now you just make a custom route and basically give it a path that you want to walk, for example. So for me, I'm just gonna have like this thing mapped out. And again, we'll be able to adjust the speed and it will tell us the time it's gonna take to complete this as well as, you know, um, the distance, all that stuff. So I'm gonna press move. You guys can see that in Pokemon Go, we're actively walking this route. So this works in Pokemon Go. You'll be able to collect like exclusive Pokemon, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's great. And you're able to also use this in Find My. Let me quickly open that up just to show you that it's reflecting in there. And you can see it's actively moving on that route that we just selected. So this makes it a lot more realistic. If you wanted to make someone think you're walking a specific way or driving somewhere or something like that, you're able to do that without any issue. And um, yeah, that's basically the pros and cons. But yeah, that's basically the advantages of this. Now the joystick feature, very similar concept. You're able to just pick a direction that you want to move and then you can literally just go that direction. So using our arrow keys, we can literally move. I'm gonna adjust the speed obviously because we're just going to like move around and we're able to freely move, turn, change direction. And this is also going to work inside of all the apps that need. Uh, location. So that is basically that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the features of the software and how they may be useful to you on iOS 26. But if you guys enjoyed the video, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Massive shout out to the people over at Loka Change for making this video possible. If you guys want to go check out the software, link will be at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment for you guys to actually check that out. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys later. Peace out.